Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? Can you read? Hmm? Are you that smart? What does it say, Bree? Yeah, look at that. Your tail's wagging. You know. It's your favorite day of the month. Are you ready? Oh, don't mess with Sylvester. He doesn't like that. Pretty sure that you can see one of my pig skeletons. Halloween decorations in the background of this video. That's nice. I feel like it's been a really long time since I have just sat down with a plan for a video. I've been so busy uh, with holidays and family visits and going out and doing things and mostly though the move and the shopping and then car shopping and packing things up and meeting with people to sell things and just, yeah. So I feel like I've just been kind of documenting all of that and I haven't really had a chance to like sit down and film the fun, lighthearted videos that most of you came here for in the first place. So that's what we're doing today and look, I remember how to use an actual camera, not my phone with terrible audio and terrible video. So also these are my Halloween totes that are waiting to be packed up tomorrow. Every room in my house is like empty and scattered and crazy right now. Well, you probably forgot what we were assumed that I forgot at least what Oink Box even was because I haven't done an Oink Box unboxing since before the holidays when things got crazy. However, I'm still getting them and still enjoying them and regret that I have not been sharing these experiences with you because you all love these videos. I have an Oink Box and we are going to watch the pigs play with it. If you don't know what Oink Box is because you came to my channel since November, I suppose. Uh, it is a subscription box for pigs. So it's the equivalent of some of the like dog subscription boxes that are really popular. We'll get everything from food and treats and toys and clothing and spa or beauty products. Uh, all of that can be found in the oink boxes. Every once in a while they will throw in something fun for pig owners and pig lovers. But um, I've had some people ask me uh, if they don't own a pig but just really like pigs, would this be a good box? Probably not. However, I do have, I'll link it down below actually because I was just like tailoring it the other day, having a lot of fun with it while I was not sleeping like I should be. Um, I have my Amazon store list where I have a list of pig products for people who love pigs that I've been working on for probably five to 10 years just for myself uh, that I realized I should make public to all of you. So if you love pig items, as well as pigs, uh, the link's down below. You can go to my storefront and, I know buddy, you can't come in here right now, and uh, and browse pretty much all of the pig items I've found on Amazon that I think are cute. There's at least 100 things on that list though, so prepare yourself. The theme of this month's box is creating healthy habits and daily routines with your pig keeping your pet healthy. So things like the hoof trims and cleaning their ears and keeping up with the vaccines that you opt to do for your pig, cleaning their teeth, warming them on a regular basis. So as always, they have some great information in here. And then also included in this one, I love this, is a health and medical journal. So you can include things like um, their stats, basically their age, their gender, um, distinctive markings, if they're spayed or neutered, uh, if they have a microchip ID, all of that can be in here. Okay, and then you've got yeah, grooming records, eating habits, what they eat, any medications that they take, vaccination, examination, um, and you can document all of that. So it's a very nice little booklet. And if you ever need to have somebody else watch your pig, you can just give them this. My box always includes different treats and um, they have some really fun flavors. So this one is pumpkin, cinnamon, and chia. These are the treats. Uh, the ingredients are always really fantastic and clean and natural. What do you think? This is the camera, this is the camera. I'm trying to show them that you're sitting so that they know that you're not totally being bad. Yeah, yeah, all right. Hi, so close, you're so close. They have a little bag of the mini pig oatmeal. So you would add this uh, to their diet. <gasps> Did you get a snack for being a good girl doing your bath? What do you think? Okay, let's open it. Uh, so this is the oatmeal, which is gonna make a giant mess. Hi, oh, mm -mm, on the bed. But, oh, it smells good. It smells like there's honey. <laughs> yeah, you think so too? So yeah, you would normally put this like on top of their food or 
Mix it in with some food. Oats, oatmeal, everything. Um, all those natural whole grains and stuff are really good for them. And they kind of like the taste, right? Kind of. Sort of. Look, we can give her a comb over with her mohawk. This Pamper Your Pig Lavender Dual Action Massage Cream for Pigs. Ooh. Can I open it with one hand? This might be another product I swipe from them sometimes. <laughs> Come on, open it up. Mmm, smells so good. We're definitely gonna try this on you since you're nice and clean. You big girl, come here. Let's try the lotion. This is lotion. I know it smells good, but you can't eat it. Look at this mess. You can't eat it. Don't stick your nose in it, please. You're gonna stick your nose in it, aren't you? Okay, ready? Ready? Let's put a little. You can't eat it. You can't eat it. Pigs wanna put everything in their mouths. They're like children. You're gonna smell so good for your new house, huh? I'm trying to build them, the pigs that prefer to kind of be indoor pigs and raised indoors. I am trying to find and build them their own little outdoor space and little playhouse and stuff where they can be inside and outside and still get all the time that they want in that nice yard because it's really, really important for pigs to get their outside time. The really exciting one that's gonna be so much fun to watch the pigs play with. I don't know which pig I'm gonna use. You know what? Maybe I'll be crazy and just set all of them loose. Yeah. I love all the different toys. I've been getting a lot of questions lately. I promise I am going to answer all of your Instagram questions. I get so, so, so many. Uh, Instagram and Facebook, I should say. I read them and I'm going to respond right now, especially it's just very hectic. But I'll do another um, Instagram Q&A video probably. That's just easier for me than typing it all out. Um, or I'll do it on a live stream if my internet's set up. Or I might do it on a podcast, but that's, we'll, we'll get to that in a long time. A lot of people though are asking me about their pig's destructive behavior and how they can reprimand them for it, um, what they can do to discourage it, things like that. Generally, if a pig is acting out, they have a good reason. Normally, you can you could start to know your pig well enough to determine kind of why they're having these tantrums or being destructive. I would say a lot of the time it's because they're not having those really incredible brains stimulated. Uh, they need a lot of interaction and socializing and yeah, smart little puzzles and toys to figure out. Uh, they don't play in the same manner that like a dog or a cat would necessarily. But something like this, these treat dispensers and Oink Box does a great job of including a different one. I'm pretty sure like every box. My pig's collection now of different toys is huge, which is great. You need to keep mixing them up. Um, they'll lose interest in them pretty quickly. And so you put it away for a few weeks and then bring it back out and it's all brand new again. <laughs> this one, and it's like, it's squishy. I like it a lot. <laughs> so you put the treats in this hole in the top and it can fit some pretty big treats. That's nice too and then just roll it around and as they scoot it around with their noses, which also encourages kind of that natural rooting habit with their snouts, they'll smell the treat in there and they'll just keep pushing it around and eventually the treat will fall out. So this is another one of the toys that serves a dual purpose too because they're getting exercise while they are on the hunt for treats. So this is what we're gonna play with today. My same belly scratch. Ah, hey now, we're not ready for the rest of it. You, yeah, you already know, see? <laughs> Tails wagging, we know what these toys are. Ooh. There we go. Special delivery. I, oh. Ignore all my remotes on the floor. Eat the ball. No, we gotta roll it. All right. 
thank you so much for watching. I'm going to continue with the oink boxes. Hopefully come this next box, life will be much less chaotic also, which is fantastic, but you know, everyone just crossed their fingers for me. And yeah, be sure to, if you are still enjoying the oink boxes and you wanna make sure that I keep doing them, uh, just be sure to like the video. Why isn't it turning off? <laughs>